hold the ritual and the ceremony almost over. A chance now for the New Zealanders to throw down the challenge, just as the South Africans have been doing throughout all the pre-match celebrations. Jenna Lamu absolutely living the haka. Big boy getting really carried away there. And it'll be Andrew Mertens, the youngster who's made such a terrific impression in this tournament, taking a short one, totally different. A mistake, but South Africa picking it up, so play continues. Offside by New Zealand. Right from the start, Steve, trying something different. Remember, Ed Morrison sent off. James Small for talking too much on the Australian tour. Taken by Dowd at the front. Wide to Bunce. Bunce as so often does, making that vital yard or two. And offside, the South Africans going over the top to kill it. Andrew Mertens. Cool as ice, even though he always looks like a rather worried little individual. Scored 100 points in the World Cup so far. And through it goes. First blood to New Zealand, five minutes gone. And they lead three points to nil. Andrew Mertens, his father a junior all-black. Over the top to Pina. South African captain sets it up. Kruger. Goes blind, Stransky finding a little wriggle through. And well held by Olo Brown, the prop eventually getting him down. Wide it goes, back inside to the big man Andrews. And a penalty, he was offside and he knows it. That was Robin Brook. Joel Stransky, out of the puddles down in Durban, took South Africa through that match and into this final. No mistake there either. Coming up to 11 minutes gone and Joel Stransky levels the scores. The president applauds. Good jump from Ian Jones, beautifully taken by the New Zealander. And Lomo straight through the middle, breaks one tackle. The pass going... Penalty to New Zealand, South Africa offside. Very simple kick, almost in front, just outside the 22. High and true, right through the middle. And New Zealand go back into the lead, six points to three. Big push, and if New Zealand escape from here, they will consider an escape, but a big push from the South Africans. They've got that New Zealand scrum under real pressure, and a penalty to South Africa. Joel Stransky with the kick. On target again. No mistake from the Western Province fly half, and the scores are level. <laughs> Fed back by Kobus Visser. Andrews on the charge. Taken by Fitzpatrick. Visser. And New Zealand having to tackle their hearts out. Rousseau again. Back it comes. Kruger driving on. Now they've got men spare if they can work it wide quickly. Joubert almost getting free. South Africa have it still. Back it comes to Stransky. The drop goal. It's there. And South Africa into the lead for the first time. 31 minutes gone. And getting the reward for that pressure. And they deserved it. Wonderful South African forward play.
Some great driving, rooking ball by the forwards. He eventually spun it out wide. Good tackle by Frank Bunce to save the day on Joubert. But Stransky knew when he got this ball back from the rook, which he almost inevitably was going to, there was only one option. Kobus Visser brought in as the, the front jumper, the heaviest man in the side, 19 and a half stone. Good leap there from Michael Jones. Mertens putting it high. It's coming down just outside the 22 to Chester Williams. Set himself beautifully to take that. Now the Blacks, though, have it. The drive on that South Africa managed to rescue it. Offside. You were too quick away. The ball was not out of the back of the rucks as the referee and... The penalty to South Africa, so they now get a chance to clear the touch under no pressure at all. And, of course, they'll get the line-out. Another massive kick from the fly half. Joel Stransky and the referee decides that's the 40 minutes up. Really is a fascinating battle. South Africa have the edge at the moment. Two penalties and a drop goal to two penalties. South Africa lead 9-6. And uh, during half-time, New Zealand have made a substitution for replacement on Jamie Joseph. Wrapped in there by Robin Brook. Straight down the touchline this time it goes from Graham Bashup. Chester Williams pushes it straight back. Mertens is there. Superb kick from him. Quickly taken by Joubert. Caught and taken as is allowed. But the net gain to New Zealand still about 50, 60 metres. They have the line out midway into the South African half. The little loop. Wide it goes. Osborne through the gap. Wide to Lamu. He's run past Juba. Good tackle across the team. Big Yapi Mulder. Important line out for South Africa. They're just seven or eight metres out. New Zealand got the touch though, off their throw. Little with the little dummy. Almost through. Just legs knocked away by Mulder. Back it comes. And the drop goal goes over. Mertens as cool as a cucumber. He thought about spinning it left to go for the try, then decided he wanted the points. And New Zealand are level again. Identical scoring, two penalties and a drop goal to each side, 9 all. Remember, if the scores are level, five minutes break and then it's ten minutes each way. Still all locked up, 9 all. just that one drop goal in the second half. Oh, and the way this ball bounced could be vital. And the New Zealand players trying to keep it alive to get in a big clearance couldn't do it. Chester Williams almost through, but a line out just five metres now from the New Zealand line. And the way that South Africa have been dominating the line out, you wouldn't bet against them actually taking the ball once again against the head. And if it is, well, Stransky will be cleaning his boots for the drop goal already. Sean Fitzpatrick facing one of the pressure moments of his long career. Tremendous responsibility on him with the throw. Gets it right, and Ian Jones comes up with the ball. Bashup puts it away to touch. Now it's the South African throw, and they're still only out to the 22, well within range. But the referee blowing for full time. We'll now have 10 minutes each way, extra time. The score's locked at 9 all. We'll take a break there and be back in a moment. Well, tension will be out there, but at South Africa, I'm sure, will realise they have actually got to win this because if it does stay all level at the end of full time and extra time, they will have lost the World Cup on their poorer disciplinary record. So off we go, ten minutes each way. In comes the battle again. Van der Westhuizen putting it high. Ellis leaving for it. Knocked forward by the All Blacks, so scrum down South Africa. 
It would be sad to see the World Cup settle like that, John, but I don't think it will be, personally. I think we'll see some scores in this extra time period because both sides are very tired indeed. The actual ruling is that it goes to try scored in the match, not in the tournament, in the match first, and they would decide it if one side has scored more than the other. And if that does not bring a result, then it goes to disciplinary record. Offside in front of the kicker. So New Zealand now have a kick two metres inside the South African half, and I am absolutely certain that Mertens will go for goal. Francois Pina, the tension showing, and it's hardly a surprise. Now he really doesn't have to strike this too hard. He's got plenty of distance, but he's hooked it. No, he hasn't. Stayed inside the near post, and New Zealand go into the lead in extra time. Durant runs it back at New Zealand. Hoisted high by Stransky. And the deflection coming back, South Africa's way. And the referee spotted it. Over the top, he said, you went New Zealand. The cheers ring around. Really put New Zealand under pressure. After the ball was bouncing around, the All Blacks give away a very important penalty. That more than going over the top, although that's what he gave it for. There was a little hand in there that flicked it back, but it was the right decision. And it's over. Stransky, the coolest man on the park. Stransky, back in the pocket. Has the chance to drop the goal. Back it comes to Stransky. Up goes the kick. Up goes the wall. Stransky has kept his head. And with two minutes gone in the second period of extra time, South Africa's dream is alive once more. And it's absolutely unbelievable. The crowd has gone mad. Joel Stransky, beautiful strum ball. No doubt what he was going to do. And he struck it straight between the uprights. Terrific kick from the Western Province outside half. We've seen that look before. Flick, they've got the ball back. Bounces off. They have to get rid of it, and the mistake there on the pass. Pina straight in to stop it. Scrum South Africa. Now, surely, the dream must have come true. They've just got to get the ball from this scrum and keep possession. And that's the way they'll do it, keeping it in the middle of the back and going for the line. Back it comes to use van der Vestes and a little knock forward. But that's it! South Africa have won the World Cup having been back in international rugby for less than three years and having not taken part in the first two competitions at their first attempt they have stolen the crown unbelievable scenes all around the park Francois Pina as you can see absolutely in tears The president to the captain. There it is. Francois Pina. And Nelson Mandela is cheering along with the whole of the stadium.